Hey guys, it's the Econ Group here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Ads. And we're going to connect our Shopify products with Google so that we can get free listing. And we are also going to create a passive ad campaign. But what do I mean by passive? Well, compared to TikTok ads and Facebook ads where you have to constantly be updating your creatives and your targeting, Google is a lot more hands-off meaning that you can create a campaign and let it run for months and even years and it will just continue to perform as it was performing at the beginning. Take a look for example at this ad account. I created this campaign over two years ago and it's giving me a ROAS of 5.89x and this hasn't changed since the beginning. There's also this performance max campaign that I created three months ago and I have a video on my channel where I actually do it live and it's generating a 2.94x. I haven't touched a single thing since I created it. And also we have a search campaign that is generating 2.65x. All of these campaigns are very profitable, but I also made some campaigns that weren't profitable, like this one here. We did a test for performance max and uh, it was breaking even, so I just pause it because I'd rather spend the money on the other campaigns. We also made a YouTube Shorts targeting campaign and uh, it didn't perform well at all. But this is because Google hasn't made a way of advertising just on shorts. So I had to do a lot of tricks and it didn't work out. So I just paused it. But basically I haven't really touched anything here after I made them, except for pausing these two campaigns. All right, so first we have to connect our store with Google. But first let me tell you why we're going to be advertising. So you get an idea of what we're trying to do. So I have this new company where we create DTF transfers. And basically DTF stands for direct to film, okay? And basically, you know, you can iron them on on the shirt or you can use a heat press just to make your own clothing brand, right? And the product that we're going to be advertising is gonna be this one. When people click on our ads, we're going to direct them to this product page where they will be able to start designing their transfers. So let's jump into our Shopify backend and go to Google inside of the sales channel. If you don't have it here, you just have to click on sales channel and search for Google and it will ask you to install it, okay? But we're going to assume that we already downloaded the app and we're gonna configure it now. So let's click on Google and it will ask you to connect it. So you're going to click on update. By the way, if you don't have Shopify yet or you're making a new store, check out the link in the description that will give you a free trial plus three months for only $1 per month. And then we will need to connect our Google account and we will be able to show our products on Google for free. Also, we can reach even more customers by doing ads and we can manage all of our products directly through Shopify. So the integration is complete. Now we're going to connect Google account. And now you have to go through the checkpoints. So first, you have to add a valid payment method. You have to create an online store, which we already have. Basically, if you haven't removed the password, it asks you to remove the online password so that it is actually public, right? Then you have to add a refund policy and terms of service. Now, when you click on this, it's gonna come to this window where you have to you know, add all of that, the return policy and the privacy policy. A quick way to get all of this information is by going to Bullscribe, Okay, I am actually part of the development of this app and I use it on all of my stores. And here, let's go to return policy. Let's put a company name. We write what we sell. We select the tone. Let's put it witty and the imagination and let's click on start. And it will generate a return policy for your store. Okay, so we're just going to copy it. I'm also going to save it. Go back to Shopify and paste it right there. We also need terms of services. Now this one, just to change it a little bit up, we're going to create it from a template, okay? We just click on replace with template and that's it. We review it really quickly and add the things that we need to add here. Now the next thing is to confirm that we have added contact information to the online store. So yes, we have added it. Now it's gonna ask us to connect to a Google Merchant Center account. Now, the way I handle this is for every website that I have, for every different business, I have a separate Google Merchant account. There's a lot of people that actually have one Merchant Center account and they have all of their stores in there. I don't like that. It gets mixed up very easily and it's just a lot cleaner like this. 
So let's create a new Merchant Center account. It just creates it very fast. Let's click on connect. Just follow the process, verifying that it's you. And let's choose the target country and language. So let's click on select and we're only going to target United States. And we're going to target English. So let's click on save, accept the terms and conditions and complete setup. It may take up to an hour for your products to sync to Google Merchant Center. If no products are available, please check back later. Now Google usually takes three to five business days to review the products. It's normally faster than that, but we'll see if by the time that we finish this tutorial, if they already imported and review the products. But let's take a look at what we can do with this integration. We can create ads right within Shopify. We can also sell on YouTube, right? Have you ever seen those videos where they have products like t-shirts and stuff on the bottom? Well, you can integrate Shopify and YouTube and it's pretty simple, but there's some requirements like you need to have a specific subscriber base and stuff. I might make a video on this if I ever decided to sell, I don't know, some shirts about the Econ Bull or something like that. It would actually be a, a, a good tutorial. I, I might do it actually. And then you can also check out directly on Google. So when people browse for something and your product shows up right there on the search results, you have the option to allow them to add to the cart and purchase the product right without leaving Google. Now let's go to the settings because I want to show you how to access your Google Merchant Center. Here you can make some changes on the integration like manage your country and language and your shipping settings. You can also select the product title preference if you want to use the SEO product title that you put when you're creating the product or if you want to actually use the product name that you put. I always recommend that you use the SEO product title. Okay, it's gonna be longer, it's gonna be more descriptive. And on the top of the page, you have this link that will go directly to your merchant center. And in here, you will be able to see your free listings, your shopping ads, your remarketing campaigns, performance, and all of that. Let me show you an example of one of my other stores that has a Google Merchant Center so you can see how this information looks once it's filled up. So here you can see that we have 381 free listings active. We are also lucky enough to have the trusted store batch. And that's because we ship products very quickly and people receive them and leave good reviews. And here you can see, you know, your performance, and the free listings, you know, how many sales you're getting, you know, and, and also the actual ads. If we go to products over here, you can see how it already started importing everything. All right. So many things. Now, if there's an issue, for example, this item here has an issue, you can just view the fixed suggestion. And in this case, it's giving me an issue because it doesn't have a UPC code. Uh, so you can just click here. This is a one of a kind or vintage product with no identifier and click on apply. So you have to go through there and make sure that all of your products have all the information that Google requires. Now, so far we have linked our Shopify products with Google Merchant Center, but we still don't have a Google Ads account. So we have to create that. So we go back to the Google Merchant Center and as you can see already, it started populating with products here. Okay, this is gonna take a couple of days. But here, you see what it says, shopping ads is missing setup steps. It's basically missing that we have it connected to the ads account. And if we go down here, you see Google ads account, error founds, we have to link your account. So we click on that and we're going to click on this plus sign to create an account. Follow the steps and click on create. Now we go back to the Google sales channel in Shopify and we click here where it says performance max, promote your products on Google, get started. Now it's going to show us the ad account that we created and we're gonna click on connect. Then confirm your billing and it will direct you to the Google ads platform. And here you just fill up your credit card information and stuff so you can pay for the ads. Congrats, you're all done. Okay, so let's go back to Shopify, refresh this page. And now it gives us access to create a campaign. It directs us to the Merchant Center, to the ad campaign, and we can start advertising your products if we create a performance max campaign. Now there's different types of campaigns that you can create in Google. And I go into more details on other videos that I have about Google ads 
but let's just follow the simplest way in this tutorial. So let's just click on create campaign. Now there's a little issue here because I might not want to advertise every single one of my products. For example, if we go to consumables on my website, here we have the t-shirts and we have a bunch of colors and sizes, a lot of variations for these t-shirts that really, you know, I don't want to advertise this ever. So one quick way to remove this product from the Google catalog is by just going to your products on Shopify, opening up the product and clicking where it says sales channels and apps. You click on manage and you remove Google. But what happens? This will also remove it from your free listings. And even though I don't want to pay for ads for these t-shirts, for example, I still want them to show for free. You know, it's free traffic. So uh, the best way actually to do this is to create different feeds or just create the campaigns manually and direct them just to that specific product. But let's just continue working on this campaign as it is. Let's select the budget of $10 per day. And we're gonna leave the default name for the campaign. Congratulations on creating your first campaign. Ad campaigns are a great way to promote your products, boost conversion and store traffic, blah, 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 blah. All right, we don't care about that for now. Here you can see it pretty simple how it's performing and you have almost no control over this campaign. Google and its AI algorithm, whatever is gonna try to make it work, okay? Try to make it profitable. If you click on edit campaign, you can basically only edit the budget, okay? But you can also view it in your Google Ads platform. And in here we can see more details about how the ads are performing, the assets that is pulling up from the website, all of that right now, as you can see, is under policy review. It takes a few hours for them to check that the ads are uh, valid for their platform and they adhere to their policies. But now that we're here, let's actually really quickly create a search campaign because I think it would be pretty good for this product. Let's go here to the left side and click on create a campaign. And in here we have a bunch of objectives that we can aim for. For example, we can go for sales. I always recommend that you go for sales if you are selling a product. You can also get leads if you are selling health insurance or something. You can get leads with this approach. You can also get web traffic and, you know, product and brand consideration. I never use those, never. What I'm interested in is in selling. I like people to know about my brand, know about my products, but I want Google to optimize and only put my products in front of people that are ready to make a purchase, that are extremely interested. So let's go for sales over here. For the conversion goal, we're gonna leave it at purchases. Now we have to select a campaign type. Okay, so before the one that we created was a performance max. Basically, Google decides everything, who to show it to, what to show it, in which pages, in which platforms, they decide everything. But if we actually only want to show on search, so when people are actually searching on google.com, you know, we choose this one. And this is the one that we're going to create. But let me show you a few more options. So display, reach customers across 3 million sites and apps with engaging creative. So basically you upload an image and Google will show your ads to people that are interested in your product, no matter if they are searching on Google or if they are on other websites that have the Google AdSense so they can display ads from Google. You also have the option for shopping. So when you search something on Google, the first row with all the ads of products that you can actually buy, you know, you will show up there. You also have video for YouTube and discovery. So you can advertise on YouTube, Gmail, discover everything. So we're gonna go for search and select the way you like to reach your goal. So we're going to reach our goals by people coming to our website, specifically to this URL, which is the product page. And the campaign name, we're gonna name it search DTF product page, continue. Now we're on the bidding section. So what do you want to focus on? So we can focus on conversions or on conversions value. Okay, if you focus on conversions, it's just the number of sales that you get. If you focus on conversion value, it's the amount of sale that you get, right? So are you targeting people that you want to spend a lot of money on your website every time they buy? Or are you trying to uh, get as many customers to buy something from your store? So I'm just gonna focus on conversion for now. 
and we're not going to set a target cost per action because this website has no history yet. I don't know how much it costs me to get a customer yet, okay? Because this site is very new. So let's click on next and we can select additional networks to display our ads on. Not only on the Google search, we can also display it on the search network and on the display network. So we're gonna leave both of them. They tend to be cheaper and if they convert well, I'll leave them. If not, I'll just cancel it later on. But right now we just have to test it. So the locations, let's only focus United States for this specific case and the languages, I don't care. So just all languages. I'm not going to select any segments here because I actually want to focus on keywords and that's on the next step. And we're leaving the targeting settings for this campaign as observation. In more settings, we can adjust, you know, the start and end date. I'm just gonna run it continuously for now. Just click on next. And now we're on the keywords. Now Google is going to automatically read our website and determine a few keywords that we could uh, target for. Uh, since my product is uh, very new, this is a new technology, Google doesn't really have any information about it. And it's recommending weird things like film directing, directing film. I don't even know what that is. It's not related to my product. So I'm actually going to give it a chance and put direct to film transfers and see if it recommends me something better. All right, these are actually a little bit better. See, DTF transfers, DTF transfer printer, direct transfer film printer, DTF film print. Okay, these are a little bit better. I'm gonna go through those, review them, delete the ones that I don't like, add some more. All right, so I added some keywords here to target and uh, we have the final URL, which is the product page. And we have a few headers. As you can see here, it will give you some uh, preview of how it's gonna look on the ads, some descriptions. And now you can add site links, which I recommend that you do because it will increase the real estate of your ad. These are the site links that I added. Start your clothing brand, discover our transfers, how to use and consumables. So we get a little bit more space there on the ads for free. Let's just save that. We can also add callouts and I suggest that you add everything that you can because it is free and it increases the likeliness of a click. So the callout text I'm going to put made in USA, free shipping over $50, quick turnaround and premium quality. And they will appear right after the descriptions. You have some advanced options that I'm not going to mess with those. Let's apply it. Now we can add more asset types. So we can add promotions, we can add prices and we can add a phone number for people to call us. I added some pricing for the different types of sizes that they can choose you know they are all with the link directly to the actual size and they are visible right here within the ad so that's pretty cool let's save it and i think we're good for now there's some things that we can optimize as it tells you right here but uh, it's okay for now so let's just click on next and let's set a custom budget of 15 dollars per day all right it wants me to spend 339 dollars per day but first I want to test it out and see if I can optimize it a little bit before committing to such a large quantity of coin. All right, let's click on next. Check that everything is correct and publish the campaign. Now, if we go to campaigns, we can see both the campaigns that we created, the performance max and also the search campaign that we did. And we're gonna monitor this for the first few days. And once they are doing good, We'll just let it run and collect the profits. Maybe we will scale the budget, add more products, remove some products. We'll see as it goes. Now, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to help you out or join our Discord group with over 1000 members already. And it's a community of fellow sellers just like you and I, and we try to help each other. We review our stores. It's a pretty nice place to hang out if you are interested in selling online. So I invite you to join. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.